Hello Daisy. How are you today? I'm uh, I'm great. How about you? I'm very excited. Well, I I've got mixed emotion. A little bit of excited and a little bit of disappointed. Do you want to know why? Yes. Ask me why. Why? Uh, why are you? Why are you disappointed? I'm disappoint I'm a little bit disappointed because I heard that today the moon will be blue. But it was raining outside, so it's a little bit cloudy, and I cannot see the moon. What about you? Are you at home now? Yes. And do you have a nice view of the moon? Can you see the moon from your window? Or maybe you are like me and you cannot see the moon. I cannot see the moon. Okay, so you looked at this window. Do you have a different window on the other side of the apartment? Okay, yes. so after this class, I want you to go and check the other side. See if the moon, if you can see them. Apparently, the moon will be blue only tonight. And that will be interesting to see, a blue moon. If I could see the moon, I'll take a photo and show to you. Good, yes. Because I cannot see it. So the next time the moon will be blue is after many, many thousands of years. So this is the only time that we can see a blue moon. So. Daisy, how was your uh, Tuesday yesterday? Tuesday? Yeah. Uh, it was very fun and I enjoyed it. I'm glad to hear. I, I also enjoyed it. What was your favorite part about the day? Uh, ah, dancing. Dancing? I, so, did you get on stage and dance? And yes. Did you win a prize? I danced for that man that I am I am lose. I don't like that man. So I didn't see that you were dancing because I was swimming and then I was watching. And then I was swimming and then I was watching. So maybe while you were dancing, I was swimming. But after the dancing, I saw that there was a foam party. Yes, and uh, Sophia, uh, Sophia, my friend, uh, said thought that was like snow, me too, and she said, wow, and when she said wow, and inside his mouth, her, her mouth, <laughs> there got a bubble, so she was very surprised. <laughs> and then it taste. does it taste like soap? I don't know, but Sophia said it is little yucky. Yucky. It's like eating soap. It's like, did you ever get soap in your mouth? Yes, because, because last time uh, we went not in school and only we just played in a city last time with my uh, friends and there was a real bother party too. And I, I, I was playing, and the man was like moving the cart that has a bubble inside, and I, I need water to wash my face, but I do like so. I there was all soap and I d I didn't know and I got soap and do like this and I hit little with it. You thought you thought it was water, but it was actually soap. Yes. Hey, that's the worst. Yeah, 
I I didn't I was watching but I didn't I didn't go and swim by this by the by the foam by the bubbles that's exactly the reason I don't like to get it in my eyes and my in my mouth but it was a very fun day swimming and playing and lunch was delicious yeah it you... was very good yeah I wish we can do that more often what would you prefer? Studying in the classroom or playing? Playing! <laughs> you answered that too fast! Okay, good. I'm glad you enjoyed. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about a farm animal. A specific farm animal that has a, that has a talent. Pig. Oh, how did you know it was a pig? Oh, oh when someone said like farm, I only I farm and I think I think the pig the first. The first animal that I think of is a pig. The first animal that I think of the farm? The first animal that I think of is a pig. The first animal that I think of is a pig. Mm. When I think of a farm, the first animal that I think of is a pig. So, but there are many farm animals. Horses, chickens, ducks. What other farm animals do you think of? Mm. A cow? Yeah. Cows. Spider. Spiders. You can find spiders on the farm. Rat. Rats. Have you ever been to a farm? No. So uh, I'm just trying to think why are you only thinking of a pig straight away? Sheep. Goats. Ah, I know why. Wow. I didn't know I, well, why I was thinking that I was thinking that pig is the first animal in my mind and so What's the reason? I, I think there must be a reason. Maybe it's from a movie or from a book. I saw a book and a movie that Charlotte Spider's Web and there was a main character was pig. And <laughs> Charlotte's Web. Uh, what was that movie about? Uh, there was a pig and uh, there was a spider and... Um, yes, I uh, also, that's what I remember, the spider and the pig, but I don't remember what happened. Of, at the end of the movie, I know that spider got a baby and died. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we don't remember what the pig was doing. Uh, uh, pig and spider was like, spider make a, spider has a like, thin string and uh, uh, hmm. it made a like, letter and the pig and the spider and the pig's owner the little younger uh, got famous because the spider was speaking using the words uh, writing the words from its like using the spider web to write the words yes and that's how the spider was communicating yes okay so this pig that i'm going ah, to yeah. but in movie they talked they were speaking oh English. okay so this pig it wasn't writing take a guess what does what the talent there is there, it has a special talent Dancing. that's actually not a bad guess. I think pigs could potentially dance, but it wasn't dancing. 
This ah, it's faster than the person. So that I don't think that's a talent. I think maybe all pigs can do that. <laughs> they eat like <laughs> pigs, and they just eat too fast. So, drawing? Yeah, painting, painting. So this what? pig is painting. I'm going to play the video and watch. Well, quickly, before we talk about it, what do you notice in the background? Ah, Table Mountain. That is Table Mountain. Where is Table Mountain? Uh, stout. Uh, uh, <laughs> stout. Africa. Uh, I am. Oh, uh, every time confused with America and Africa. Yeah, I think many students are. There is a South America. There is a South Africa. So this is in South Africa. And yeah, let's see what is happening here. The pig is painting, but is it painting nice pictures or is it just no. scribbling? Scribbling. It is just scribbling. Now, how is it painting? It's holding the, the paintbrush in its mouth and it's just mm -hmm. shaking its head and it's scribbling. So why, why do you think it became famous? Why are these paintings really, really interesting if it's if they don't look pretty? Because of pig draw. Exactly. Because the pig is making these artworks. It's the only pig that can paint. It's very unique. Can you say for me, this artist is very unique. This artist is very unique. Very. Daisy, have you heard of another animal that can paint? Uh, other animal? Yeah. Dog? Like ha footprints. Oh, so it makes footprints. But to hold a paintbrush, I have heard of a dolphin that can hold a paintbrush in its mouth and I have heard of a elephant that can hold a paintbrush in its trunk. So this is the first pig that can hold. Now what what do you think the the farmer will do with the paintings? Uh, show to people and tell them to buy Yes, tell them to buy. So that's what he did. He sold the paintings. If I was farmer, I'll don't sell and I'll make an art that art museum. Mm, a gallery. So a gallery is where we put all the pieces of art and people can come inside and look at the artwork. That's a good idea. Question. What is the pig name? That's a very good question. The name of this pig is Pig Picasso. P Have you heard of Picasso? Picasso. I read a book about Picasso like last night. Wow! Okay, quickly. Tell me about Picasso. Who is he? What was this book about? Artist. He is an artist. Do you know where he was from? Whom? Or what? What was this book about? What was? What was the book telling you about? It was telling who is him and like, what did he draw and finish? Okay, so <laughs> Picasso was an artist from Spain, and he lived in France. He lived in France, but he was from Spain. Capital city of Spain is Ma Madrid. 
I'm Mad Madrid. Madrid. And the capital city. Teacher, I almost said you said like Ma, and I almost said Macadamia. <laughs> Macadamia nuts. <laughs> and what's the capital city of France? Hmm. France, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said it. Paris. Oh. Paris. Paris is the capital city. All right. So the name of this pig is. Pig Castle. Pig Castle. It's a very creative name. Pig Castle. Yeah, 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 because it's an artist. So, Daisy, do you have your do you have your notebook with you? <laughs> there we go. Good. Let's write our sentences for today. I can see you are holding it. Let's write today's date. It's the 30th of August 2023 Daisy, what's today's date? Uh, 30th of August Yes, let's, let's say it one more time like a full sentence we can say Today is the 30th of August 2023 Today is our third uh, Alright, let me uh. help you. I will write the sentence. Today is the 30th th of August 2023. Today is the 30th 30th of August 2023 It's a little bit tricky, but we will practice. Okay, number one sentence is This pig's name is Pig Castle Named after the artist Pig Castle Don't you think that's a smart name? Yes. It's very creative. Daisy, this pig was named Oh, if you finish if you finish writing, can you please read it for me? Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh pig Number one, this pig's name is Pig Castle, named after the artist Pig Castle. So, Daisy, this pig was named after Picasso. Who were you named after? Me? Yeah. Me? Yeah, you. I don't know. Oh, so after this class, you must ask your mom and dad. You must say... English name or my... Korean name. Both of them. You can ask your mom and dad how did they think of your Korean name and how did they I think... think... I know that my mom like like the choosing game and she got Daisy name and my name is Daisy. From the, from the choosing game? Oh, I don't like know. Like chopsticks and she chose something and there was uh, paper and uh, they they wrote Daisy and he chose my name to Daisy. So Daisy. so from where she was choosing, there was a whole lot of different chopsticks with different names. I think so. There was Daisy. There was Jasmine. There was Ella. There was all the different names, and she chose one, and it was Daisy. Okay, interesting. So, when we say named after, it, it usually means you are named after someone. So for me, I was named after my grandfather. So my mom and dad, they really like my grandfather's name, and so they give it to me. So maybe you can ask after this class, you can ask your mom and dad about your Korean name. 
Who were you named after? Okay. You will tell us that next time. Okay. Number two. What is this pig's talent? This pig talent is to uh is to hold the painting brush in its mouth mouth and draw draw draw. Okay. Good. So something. I like that you are explaining how it is doing it. But that will be sentence three. Sentence three is how. Sentence two is what. So Picasso can paint. Simple. Now number three, you said it is holding its. So I'm going to write it. Or the pig is holding the brush in its mouth. and scribbling. Can you read, read num number two, two? Number three. Number three. The pig is holding the brush in its mouth and scribbling. Scribbling. Daisy, what happens if your teacher sees that you are scribbling in your book? I never did it, but oh, teacher will be very angry and give minus point. Exactly, good. I'm glad to hear you don't do it. Okay, last sentence. Yeah, what? but uh, my friend uh, Jun do it. Yeah, sometimes the students, they don't learn. And the teacher must say again and again and again. Me too, I have some G1 students that do it. Right. The last sentence is, how do... What what does the farmer do with the paintings? Farmer, uh, the farmer sells the pa uh, paintings of the pig Picasso. Mm. Sells the paintings. Sells Picasso's paintings. Do you think they are cheap or expensive? Expensive. Yeah. They are expensive. But I can draw like the pig pasta. Yes, but the thing is, that's not unique. This pig is the only pig in the world. But you, you, you have lots of competition. There are many students who can draw like him. So it's not unique. That's why they are so expensive. Ah, oh, my friend, when I was like G2, my friend showed like some video about the dog painting and the dog was not scribbling like pig castle and it was drawing the flower no they did. that cannot be but there was really a dog was drawing. with its mouth did it have the paintbrush in its mouth yes same like this pig like very thick one and and uh, like draw away that brush and other brushes Mm, I will I will believe it if I see it. <laughs> Alright, good. Daisy, let's see here the important words. I'm going to highlight them. First is going to be named after. Named after. Number two, they are all easy words, so I will just highlight paint in its mouth and the last one the farmer sells the painting they are expensive I'll put sells okay it's not too bad Daisy so what do you think we are going to do now you will erase the word except you highlight it and I will uh, I don't see the paper and say, say the sentence. That's not a bad idea, but actually we will skip that and I will erase everything. Hmm? I will erase everything and then I will play the video and you will talk over the video. 
Do, uh -huh. do you think you can do it with no practice? No. I think you can. Let's try. I need some practice. Even Daisy, if you get stuck, you can look at your note if you get stuck. But I don't think you will get stuck. You can look at the picture and you can talk about the picture. But, uh, this video is so fast. That's okay. That's okay. Try your best. Three, two, and one, go. go. Can you see? Ah, this is not moving. <laughs> Can you see the pig drawing with his mouth, uh, holding the paintbrush in his mouth and uh, its mouth? He is scribbling uh, the paintbrush. Uh, the, the pig's name is Picasso, named after the artist named Picasso. Hmm. Oh. oh, Picasso can paint with his mouth scribbling the paintbrush. The farmer sells the paintings uh, and they are very expensive. Not bad at all. Very good. You see, this is good practice. I really like it. I like this activity. Okay. Daisy, now you must go and see if you can find this moon. Me too. I want to try and find the moon. But you can go after the class. Oh, did you go now? Why today is cloudy day I know the one day that the moon is blue and it's cloudy maybe after a few minutes it will clear up because it's not raining anymore is it raining by you uh, I think it stopped it stopped but it is very uh, cool yeah it is very chilly all right, Daisy. Let me know tomorrow. Tomorrow I will ask you if you if you saw the moon. And yeah, do you have any questions? Mm. Ah, if you saw the blue moon and you could uh, wish your wishes, uh, what? Wish you will wish for. Yeah. Oh, what would you wish for? Wish for. So, Daisy, what would you if, wish for? If I told you my wish, then it will not come true. So I cannot tell you. It's a secret. You can make two wishes and tell me only one thing and keep the best wishes in wish in your mind and I tell me all the things. I will wish for to go to the beach. I really love to go to the beach. So when? I, that's always my wish. I wish soon I will go to the beach, swim at the beach, sit on the beach enjoy the time with the sun on the beach i will go soon to the beach because on choose hawk i will go to bangkok yay wow that's amazing well, that's that's really cool you will really enjoy thailand thailand is amazing all right daisy i will see you tomorrow have a nice evening good night bye 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 daisy